So just, just more melee? So then you're ready to use the attack? Yeah. Yeah. You wait, you watch the attack, and then like, they go down. Like, it's so, it's pretty neat. Now there's actually a video on it in the Falcon forums. Right on, man. I don't know how I remembered that. <laughs> I don't play that character. Yeah. I think I was just watching, I was just browsing the YouTubes for Melee, and I found S2J. Who? What? Why, does he play Yoshi? Yep. You play Yoshi? What? I mean, what's wrong with you, Yoshi? You learn how to shoot, learn how to shield drop, learn how to, like, double jump armor. Wait, yes, yeah. he can. Really good. He's probably, like, it's essential. He can't, he can't jump out of shield, no. He can't jump he can, out of shield, no. He can shield drop. Uh... We'll watch and give you notes. I mean, the best we can. Like, that's, I, I've played a lot of Yoshi's in in Florida, so Yoshi versus Mark is so hard. Oh, oh. Yoshi versus Mark is so hard. Oh, uh, first note for wrist to uh, hold A to turn into Sheik immediately. If you might know that, but you know, if he doesn't, then all the better. See if he does it next game, because he started his elbow and stood there. Ooh, that was sick. Read him on the drop. I don't know. I really don't feel like taking notes on Mikey's Yoshi because it's not serious. He doesn't play this character. Really? Yes. He just he's just playing whatever he wants right now. Well, uh, <laughs> recover low and wave dash on the stage with your invisibility. That's one note for Yoshi. He recovered so high he got out of his invisibility and then got slapped. Uh, something that will, something that he can do with Yoshi is being able to turn around, turn around aerial. Yeah, with eggs. Um, uh, no, 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 with a, uh, with a uh, double jump. Oh so yeah, he yeah. Turn around there. Jump, he turns out of his double jump. I think, that. And, uh, usually, it's awesome to do that dropping. Yeah. Uh, but this is such a hard matchup for Yoshi. Like, I feel like even even a Sheik that it's like below the Yoshi skill level is still going to be able to just do Sheik things. That that right there. Like, he just came up too high over the ledge. As soon as you cross a ledge surface, might do double jump. You should wave on, wave land onto it. Like, he just floated until he ran out of invincibility. Like, he should be wave landing onto almost every surface. Like, this character's no joke, all right. <laughs> He's basically getting to the end of his invincibilities and then just hanging out. Like, yeah. He should at least be air dodging, like just for his safety sake. I kind of, I kind of see rest of his uh, looking a little bit reminiscent of Borp. He's not using too much uh, tech at all, and he's, he just is playing Sheik. This is why people thought Sheik was the best character for a long time. It's true. It was because of stuff like this. Like, I think she is like not a new killer, but essentially like I'd say the, the lowest plateaued character to be competitive with. Yeah. Like the least amount of effort to get at least entry level competitive gameplay going. I guess that that's the best way I could put it without being mean to all the chic mains who want to talk down. But uh, she has a lot of high plateaus and a lot of cool technology. But the entry level stuff is just. You can do really well with her not knowing too much about like matchup specific things because like every yeah. single combo she has nearly works on every character in the game, with it's the exception of like fast fallers. It's a good way of putting it. Yeah. Yeah. So she can apply the same cookie cutter to any matchup she wants. Yeah. Now, talking about plateaus of uh, accessibility, I think Yoshi probably the highest competitive <laughs> player. You, that's, what, that's what I was saying about Yoshi and most of the low tiers. If you don't know every single in and out about that low tier, you're going to get crushed with it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you, there's nothing you can even do because Sheik is so good against low tiers. So we got Mikey with game, or not Mikey, uh, rested with game one. Uh, he's switching off Yoshi onto Falcon. I get some Yoshi notes, but like that Yoshi is not a not a competitive Yoshi. That is just a, I kind of you can tell. I just kind of wanted to play Yoshi. Yeah. Okay, so uh, okay, rest of going Falco and Mikey going Falcon. Okay, so this is a uh, reminiscent of uh, Ix Walker versus. Um, Versus uh, Bo. Yep. Uh, Falcon Mr. Same Gentleman. colors. Uh, oh. Let's see how he does in a gentleman as time goes. Getting a little cheeky before he has a lead. I don't even know like what to take notes on in this match. It's just like 
a lot of a lot of like fundamentals are missing. Like, uh, I mean, Mikey, he's got he's got fastballs and L cancels going with with Captain Falcon. It's a matter of hitting them every single time. You know, not getting stuck in shield, not dodging when you're meaning to jump. And uh, you know what? In, in general, even if he doesn't hit the follow up, he seems to have the read a lot of time on. Uh uh, I've noticed he's, he's always got the chase on him after the attack chase. He's not, just, he's not converting when he gets there. Yeah. Uh, gets the emergency button out of shield. That was risky. That was punishable. Uh, a lot of people are afraid of that move. He might not have uh, felt like approaching it. Ooh, that was an easy edge guard miss. Uh, he just let Falcon get back for free. I feel like even just. There's so many options for Falco. Yeah, I, this this might just be uh, a character ignorance on the part of Restive. I don't know how often he frequents this character, but he's definitely got his own way of playing it. Where the standing. Yeah, out, outside of the the generally accepted way you play this character. Oh yeah, see, Mikey knew he Mikey knew he had that tech follow. He just uh, he just can't get it. But yeah, he just didn't know he was getting doing. them all the time. He's just he's there at the right place and just not just not converting. But uh, for, this is surprisingly even for uh, for I, what I feel is like a, a pretty extensive still, skill gap between these two characters. I mean, uh, as far as like tactical understanding, Mikey's no not Mikey knows what he's doing, but uh, rest of his he's just just aggressive enough. That he's getting some percentage. Oh, and that was actually really cool, comboing out of shine and like not seeing him do that for the entire match. <laughs> You're just like, whoa, where did that come from? <laughs> just try to be, I don't know, it just looks like he's spacing and like being as careful as can. Yeah. Can. He's doing a lot of aerials in place to cover like Falcon approach. And I, I feel like that's a Smash 4 player thing because that's what the rest of his originally a Brawl Smash 4 player. And a lot of those guys are just, they're really sensitive to spacing and stuff like that. And uh, being able to Especially make safe attacks. Players. Yeah. Oh my God. Safety is just such a big thing in that game. Comes down with back air and it hits the reverse hit bars. Yeah. Kind of strange. Ooh, get some with the uh, up tilt. That's gonna that's gonna be a dead Falco. Yeah. Yep. Not not even anything. I don't know, it's kind of it's a slot match right now. It's like it's it's hard to get right, it's hard to get notes. There's a, there's a bunch of little like technical folk almost. Like Mikey just attempted five knees in a row. <laughs> as I mean, opposed to and like Falco's standing in the middle shielding, so he could have just ran and grabbed, you know. Yeah. Falco canceled the to run grab. I feel like most most Falcons, after throwing one or two quick aerials, should probably assess and ground themselves. Oh, yeah, I'm quiet, aren't I? Sorry. I just feel like most uh, Falcons should ground themselves every now and again. Uh, there's so many opportunities out of grab for Falcon that it's a big part of this game. A lot of people just want the meme. Yep. Oh my gosh. Gets the cheeky punch. I didn't see it coming. Comes down with it. Just calling him out. Calls him with a, with his, uh, Nair? Yeah. And a short hop fast fall Nair at that. No L cancel, but still, oh my gosh, and that's going to be... <laughs> it's dumb. <laughs> giving him a consolation stock for his effort, so that's going to be 1-1. One, one. Uh, Is that 1-1? One, one? Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. So let's see, they, I have a feeling they might be switching characters again, because that's, yeah. That's Mar just the kind of, so this is Mikey's real main. Is Mar Mar okay, let's see if he switches right away this time. Because that's like, he, last time he just stood there for a few seconds. No, we got to tell him about A. You got a whole day right, so you can right. come shoot. <laughs> I'm helping. So this match is one that I've had to struggle with a lot in my life. <laughs> Probably you too. Uh, I actually really, I really like this matchup from my perspective. I, I, like I have, it now. I have an okay time with it. I, uh, I don't like Captain Falcon. I love Falcon. That's that's. I don't like playing against Falcon. Uh, you take Falcon and FD and win. It's so fun. Uh, yeah, this is like up throw to up tilt to up air. Like those are like those two options that really. Here, okay, I was gonna say he's gonna do it, but. Uh, he didn't. And you can definitely tell that both Mikey and Restive have just an easier time moving around with these characters. Especially Restive, uh, who I think is very used to playing a game where he doesn't have to play dash or L-cancel or yeah, utilize those movements. And Sheik has a really easy time moving even without those tools. And it's cool to see a Marth who knows this matchup. Uh -huh. I enjoy it much more. Uh, a lot of, lot of, I guess, easy setups on Marth from Sheik. She can, she can do so many things for free on Marth. Uh, it said, I think, every commentary at all time when Mark Sheik says, but uh, it's just one or two things that are almost guaranteed for Sheik. Uh, if less than GI is Mark, is perfect. And you have to know him as Mark. You can't, you can't get away with good spacing and light fundamentals. You have to actually know these things. Ooh, he, uh, he overcommits for no good reason. He throws an up air as opposed to up being back to the stage, and uh, that's it. Able to come back and just throws a, a random <laughs> F smash and wins. Yeah. 
See, that's nope. not supposed to work on Yeah, that's, but, uh, that, that was the That's rest of holding in. Yeah. He, can, he might be able to get two on surprise, but by the time you've been thrown twice, you should recognize and change your DI and get a jump in there. So he also needs to be catching Sheik out of the air. Catch Sheik with, out of the air with his uh, with his forward air. Because you can, if, she, if you see her jumping like that, you can you can react and jump up and get her while she's in the air. I totally so she can't She can't crouch cancel, mm -hmm. which is like the main problem with trying to pop a Sheik off. Oh, he, oh, that was so risky of him, but I'm glad he got the counter off. Uh, falling to the ledge was free there, and he decided to go up for some reason. Not able to punish Sheik with that 2006 edge guard. <laughs> Nothing wrong with an 06 edge guard here and there, but uh, probably won't work with Sheik. I didn't think that he was, was going to get that grab. That was kind of nuts. Yeah, uh, his follow up was, was uh, interesting, but there we go. I think he actually might have heard my advice about catching him out of the air. He's, <laughs> he's the forwarder because he's just doing it all the time now. <laughs> he's just uh, full hopping, so for she yeah. she Sheik's response, she should just get under him. Yep. Because he's, he's actually approaching with four, uh, full hop, not waiting until she gets in the air. Oh, oh. Nice. Uh, I feel like down tilt is a better response when someone's actually already on the edge. You can throw a down tilt and come backwards immediately. You throw yeah. F air or F smash, you're just pinning yourself and letting it back on. He also uh, he can he can utilize turning around in the air with his side B. He's mm -hmm. not doing it at all. Ooh, that was that was a really good tech chase. This is this is still this is still one tech chase. This is that was sixty six off one tech chase. It was off a grab up throw and then followed through with more throws and up tilts. Oh, goes for it all because why not? He's doing so good right now. That tech chase was slick. Oh man, calls the jump. Also, that's, that's a, that was a really good wait. That was an amazing stock. He started that stock at 130. And now, we, yeah, he's only at 150. So, Let's see if he can do it again. I think that the initial DI right now for uh, Restive, he doesn't know to pull away. Down and away, man. Oh my gosh! <laughs> he gets it. He gets it. That's good. That was good. Great game. Great game right there. Which one do you want to do? Do we want to keep the Yoshi at all? 